June the 17th, 1944, may well go down in history as a historic milestone because I think it's going to be the only wedding in history in which I was deeply involved and survived. <laughs> I've been thinking all day of many of the current similarities between the situation of the whole world moving in on you and lots of telephones ringing. And I want you to know that only 40 of the guests asked for seats at the wedding tonight, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> They're training on their part. But all weddings do have one boy, one girl, and one Monsignor. <laughs> and uh, there were, even though it was 22 years ago, great similarities between our own ceremony and the current one. For instance, there was the matter of television. Les and I considered it a very long time. <laughs> with it, and finally we did decide against it in view of the number of requests. <laughs> and then circumstances forced us to pool coverage. <laughs> to us, the circumstances where the editor of a paper that we'd both done servitude on, a real romantic, and uh, I had worked for him during the war, and when I bade him farewell, got ready to get on the train and come to Washington to marry Les. He was faced with the manpower shortage of the war and losing the only $18 a week reporter <laughs> he had. And he said, all right, if you want a story in this paper, you two can damn well write it. <laughs> so we wrote our own story oh. lengthily and glowingly. And it really stands in the annals of journalism as a great inspiration of managed wedding news. <laughs>